Oh, Mr. Brown! Do you really think you can sneak me into the movies? I should think so. Really? <laughs> there are ways. And what would I have to do? Well, meet me Saturday afternoon in front of the Lowe's Theater. I'll take you in. Unless there's something playing I've already seen, in which case you're on your own. Oh, so is your Aunt Tilly! Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Hi, Cosmo. John, I thought you were coming. What happened to you? Just my fans wanting a piece of Don Lockwood. <laughs> Listen, Cosm, am I a good actor? Why, as long as I work for Monumental Pictures, you're the greatest of them all. No, no kidding. You're my pal. You can tell me. What's the matter with you? Of course you're good. Well, just keep telling me from time to time. I feel a little shaken. The new Don Lockwood. Don! RF. Don, where have you been? It's colossal. We've been waiting for you. We've been holding the whole show for you. Listen, everybody, got a few little surprises for you tonight. Well, come on, everybody, stand aside. Stand aside. Bring it in, Sam. A movie? We've just seen one. Have to show a movie at a party. It's a Hollywood law. Now, listen, this is going to hand you a lot of laughs. There's a man been coming in my office for months and, well, got that gadget working, Sam? All set, Mr. Simpson. Okay, let her go. Who is that? This is a demonstration of a talking picture. Notice it is a picture of me, and I'm talking. Note how my lips and the sound issuing from them are synchronized together in perfect use. There's a man talking from behind the screen. Come out from behind the screen, Mr. Smith. No, no, I'm right here. My voice is recorded on a record and so connected with the mechanism of the projection machine as to run simultaneously with the unreeling of the film. A talking picture. Thank you. Goodbye. Well. Wow. Revolutionary. Do you really think they'll use it? I doubt it. Uh, the Warner Brothers. They're making a whole talking picture with this gadget. The jazz singer. Well, they'll lose their shirts. What do you think of it, Dexter? Uh, it'll never amount to a thing. <laughs> That's what they said about the horseless carriage. <gasps> there you are, Tony. Where have you been? I was lonely. Hello, Lena. Uh, together again, my two little stars, Don and Lena. No kidding, aren't they great, folks? <laughs> now, on with the show. A very special cake full of delicious surprises. Well, if it isn't Ethel Barrymore. <laughs> uh, I hope you're going to favor us with something special tonight. Say, Hamlet soliloquy, or the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Or, uh... Mr. Lockwood, oh, oh, I... don't be shy. That's the perfect costume for Juliet. All I do is dream of you the whole night through. With the dawn, I still go on dreaming of you. Your every thought, your everything, your every song I ever sing. Summer, winter, autumn, and spring. And were there more than 24 hours a day, they'd be spent in sweet content dreaming away. When skies are gray, when skies are blue, morning, noon, and nighttime too. All I do the whole day through. Stream of you. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your performance. Excuse me. Don't go. Now that I know you live in a cake, let me see you home. Who is this dame anyway? Oh, someone lofty and far above us all. An actress on the legitimate stage. She couldn't learn anything from the movies. Here's one thing I've learned from the movies. 
Oh, Lena, uh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow! I didn't mean to. Ow! Now, now, she was aiming at me. Oh, just let me at it. I'll kill her. Oh, it was just a mistake. Lena, a little accident. Sure, it happens to me five or six times a day. Oh, just let me get my hands on it. I'll kill dignity. her. Dignity. Lena, remember your dignity? Dignity, my tuckus. Oh. Where is she? She ran off in a rather hurry. Could there be eyes like yours? Could there be lips like yours? Could there be smiles 